everyone, welcome to Eden, my garden. Today I'm going to show you a special way of planting tomatoes. So I've got lots of plants here and I'm going to show you from beginning to end because uh, you know tomato is lovely and delicious, nice for salad in the summer. I've planted them in pots but what I did I've cut the bottom as you could see and this is very cheap from the uh, pound shop or the dollar shop and I just take a, a blade and just cut the bottom and here if we could come down here and show so what I did I dig uh, a big hole and then I stick the pot in and fill it with compost. The reason I did this, because tomato have big roots. So I just, I didn't want the tomato to be compact in, in a small pot. So it can go through the soil underneath and, and, and for water as well. So it have stronger roots. And the second reason I did this, because I want to put membrane everywhere because there's so many weeds. So we're going to put membrane, cut it around the pot and put the mulch on top of a membrane. And the third reason I did this, and it looks pretty. It's, uh, it looks like, you know, it's a flower pot, you know, just stick in the ground, but you know, the top is going to look so pretty. Okay, so how did I do the seeds? So as you could see here, there's quite a few of tomatoes here. It's very easy. All I did, sprinkle a few tomato seeds and just cover it with topsoil and, and good soil. And after probably two weeks or three, and look, that's what we get loads. Probably there's about 10 to 15 tomato plant in here. And 15 tomato plants, you get a lot, a lot of tomatoes. And so the second step I did, I transplanted it. So I remove it from the small pot here and then separate them and just plant them in individual pots so they can grow bigger and stronger. And the third stage here, look at this, I will show you. And look at that. This, I started seedling them from 21st of January. So now we are in May. So look how big they are. So this is ready to go out and the weather is lovely and warm. Tomato love really, really warm weather. So I'm going to show you how to transplant them. So here I've got um, compost and then I have chicken manure, which I put two tablespoons with a compost because you need, you need uh, a bit of fertilizer to boost the tomato and to get strong roots. And I use organic one. I don't want to use any more, anyone else apart from organic, which is better. Okay, transplanting. Let's see. Okay, so this tomato is the sweet aroma here. So I'm going to dig the pot. So I already mix some. Um, the manure here so I'm going to dig a really deep hole because you could see the stem is quite long so let's get digging let me show you a trick yeah to plant tomato we don't need those two here so we're going to clip it and here you could see that little um, germination here we don't need that so we're going to clip it because you want your tomato to go, grow upwards not bushy and and all bulky you want it to go upwards and it bear more fruits and you could see one here as well I'm going to take that out and here so let's see yeah I want it deep up to here so you could see all these little fur here these become nice strong roots so yeah that's about right so I'm going to fill my soil in. Voila! And this is our sweet aroma tomato uh, tomatoes. 
I just want to share a very quick word with you about forgiveness. I think forgiveness is a big key. You know, when somebody hurts us or they say things about us that deeply wounded us, and we think by for not forgiving them uh, will hurt them, but the most person that's being hurt is us and the bible said you know we need to forgive others so god can forgive us so i just want to encourage you if somebody's hurt you in the past and and you think it's it's so deep you can't forgive them but i want to tell you you can because jesus loves you and he forgive you of your sin he forgive you of your wrongs and so you think the other person is being hurting it's you so to let go of that bitterness anger and unforgiveness you're helping yourself to flourish in life so today choose to forgive tomato needs a trellis because they're going to grow upwards so they need something to hang on to to attach to so here i have been trying to put this And I'm going to show you the strings. I have two trees. I wanted to make the most of what's in the garden. So I put some string here and you could see the tomatoes is underneath. So as they're going to grow, I'm going to pull them back like this one here. You see, so that will be here as it grows bigger. It's going to be in between. And I'm going to attach little string to two there. So it grows all upwards and tomato loves sun. So here we have uh, sun for six, seven hours. So that's no problem. Okay, I want to attach one and I want to show you. Yeah, so as they grow, they're going to attach and I might put another one here. So they grow in between and uh, maybe a bit longer because tomato grow as tall as six foot. Okay, if you tell me you don't have a garden, you don't have place to, pot your to uh, plant your tomatoes, I've got a perfect idea for you. All you need is a, a pot. A pot with um, compost and obviously you need um, drainage at the bottom and some sticks and some string and in you know for a normal family of four one of one plant of tomato will produce a lot of harvest and you can put it on your balcony you can put it uh, near your kitchen and it just will be you know when as you want to pick your tomatoes okay let me show you Okay, so I'm going to take my plant out. Wow, beautiful roots. And I showed you earlier on, I'm going to clip those bit here. So I'm going to bury it up to here. You can use any stick. I mean, usually I go in the forest. I just pick stick from there. But I had this spare one. lovely look at this beautiful and this will grow as it grows bigger maybe you might need longer stick but for now that will do in your front porch on your balcony you will receive a lot of harvest from one plant <laughs>